in today's video, I'm gonna be making a song in the style of Fred Again, Skrillex, and Fortet's new song, Baby Again. This song's got lots of different sections to it, so I've kind of remade each section, and I'll go through exactly how I made it. So let's jump into the project. So let's start off where all songs start at the intro. So I'll just play the intro section for you. Yeah, so this intro's just got a kick drum that's actually been high passed. So I'm removing all of the low end to that kick. There's no other processing on that, just that high pass. And then we've got a clap sound in here that sounds like this. And then also we've got this kind of offbeat hi-hat, which sounds like this. So if we play the intro all together, it's like, kind of like sets the scene for the song. So we've got this vocal section that comes in. So I've kind of got a sample that sounds kind of similar to the original. It's kind of like a fast, like rap vocal effectively. So that vocal sounds something like, I'm balling, they pay me attention, I'm on a this suspicion. So that's kind of like looping throughout the song. So in terms of processing on this, I've got this little Alter Boy plugin. So I'm actually pitch shifting it down to kind of match the pitch of the song and also changing this form. And so if I take that off, it's going to sound like... They pay me attention, going up, this suspension. And there's also a delay on this. So I've got a dotted delay one over eight. And then there's also a filter that's kind of like rising up as we go towards the drop of the song. And then also on here as well, I've got another EQ just to get rid of a lot of the like rumbly kind of sounds that are happening. And then as this vocal comes in, I've also got this very simple like synth sound. So this was made in just serum. So it's literally just a saw wave that's got a little bit of unison on. If we look just here, I'm kind of automating this cutoff so it kind of rises as we go towards the drop. And then as we go further to the song, I've got this offbeat hi-hat that comes in as well. So there's no actual processing on this hi-hat, it's literally just the straight sample because it sounds quite good, so I felt I didn't really need to do anything. And then I've also got this drum loop in here as well. Kind of quite a funky drum beat, adds a lot to it. And then as we go towards the first drop, two bars before, I've actually taken out the kick drum. So I'll just play that section for you. Yeah, so that kind of adds some suspense as the first drop comes in. So this first drop, so this kick drum's the same as the kick drum in the intro, but I've taken off the high pass filter just so you can get that sort of like, just so the kick drum's a lot more bassy. So that kick drum on its own is like, quite like a subby kick. Again, I've not actually done any processing on this kick because I felt it sounded really good as it was. So also what's going on in this drop is I've got this drum loop again. It's a slightly different drum loop. I've actually chopped it up slightly. I've removed the clap sounds so that it's just like the kick and this kind of like shuffly hi-hat groove. I've not actually done any processing on this because as we look, there's not really any sort of like low end happening. And then also as well, I noticed in the original song, there's like a ride symbol on every offbeat, which kind of makes it sound a lot more full as it comes in. So I'll just play these drums on their own for the first drop. I've also added in these little offbeat hi-hats just here. So on their own, these sound like, just kind of like shuffles more. If I play those hi-hats with the kick drum, it just adds this like extra little shuffle. So very like subtle in the background, but it definitely adds something to the song. And then in terms of the sub, the sub is just playing one note. So we're playing a G note all the way through. So if I play that on its own, again, this is quite deep. So you might not be able to hear it. If you're listening through like a phone, you probably need some speakers to hear it. So I'll just load up the serum preset. So basically for this bass, what's happening is, again, it's just a very simple saw wave with some slight detuning on it. 
And then what I've done is it's actually running through a filter. So I'm using a filter to basically close on every single hit just to add some more kind of bounce to it. So if I take the filter off, it's like, and when you add the filter, it kind of makes it much more bassy. I'll just play that with the kick drum on its own. As we play that all together, it's gonna sound like. And in terms of vocals on this section, so the filter's basically been completely removed. We were rising up to the drop and this filter's been turned off, so that sounds like. So again, on here, we've just got, I've already been through it, but we've got the little altar boy and then some delay and an EQ. So in the original song, this section loops a bit longer, but I've basically cut it short and we're going into the next section. That original high synth sound from the intro has been removed on the drop and then it comes back in on the second section. So the second section of the drop is like... Yeah, so in this section, the main sound that comes in now that's new is this like riser pad sound. So I'll just play that for you on its own. So in terms of chords here, we've got a G, an A, an A sharp, and a C. What's happening with this, I'll load up the Serum preset. So again, it's a very simple sound. We've just got uh, two saw waves that have been detuned slightly. And then there's a filter that comes in that's actually being opened very slowly with this LFO. So it's set to four bars. So as we play it, it gradually like opens as we get to the next section. And then we've got the second drop. In this second drop, the sub bass is actually doing something slightly different. So I'll play this for you on its own so you can hear the melody. So that's kind of a simple little riff. So we've got a G going up to an A sharp, down to a G sharp, and then to the G again. And then to end it, we've got this kind of G that's like, like one, two, three, four. And then the second time around, we've removed the vocals this time. So we've just got the sub, the synth and the drums. And then again, we've got this riser sound. So if we look at the automation, the filter's opening much more slowly this time as it loops twice. And then we've also got these vocals in again. And then in this drop, actually, regarding the synth, I've added these little, like, kind of higher octave bits and melodies in. So if we look at this, originally it was playing just the G. I've added this little melody and we've gone to the A sharp and the C. I'll just take the sub out so we can hear what this is doing. So looping this bit. I've removed them there and then added this other little melody in. So that's going up to the A sharp and then the C just as we get to the next section of the song. And then the next section of the song, we've got this riser pad again, but this time it's twice as long. So what we're doing just here is we're automating the filter to take longer to rise up towards the next section. And also in this section, we've removed the kick drum as well. And then as we build up, I've removed the clap sound as well. In this build up as well with the vocals, I've actually looped like a little bit of the end, like it does in the original song. So that's gonna sound like. And then also there's this little shaker in there as well. Again, just to add some tension. And then there's this little like sub riff that's going on. So this is basically just a G going up to the octave up quite quickly. So on its own, that's gonna sound like. There's some portamento being added as well. So each note kind of glides into the next one nicely. And then this is the next section of the drop. So we've got a little like sub riff that happens. So on this sub riff, I've actually got a new preset. So it's gonna sound like. 
So the notes we're playing are A sharp, G sharp, G and D. So in terms of the actual serum patch for this, we're using a saw wave and a square wave. So the saw wave is an octave lower than the square wave. And again, there's some slight detuning going on. And what we've done in terms of the filter here is we're actually opening the filter up as each note plays using this envelope just here. So that's going to sound like... So if I take that filter off, it's like... So the second drop's like... So again, that riff comes in as well. So in terms of the sub, it's actually really, really simple. This is, it's just playing a G note. Again, you might not hear it if you're listening through a phone or a laptop, because it really is quite subby. If we just play that. So on here, I've got LFO tool. So it's actually like side chaining to the kick slightly because they do have some kind of clashing frequencies. And then in terms of drums on this drop, because it's much more minimal, what we've got is we've actually got a second kick drum in here. So it's like the drums all together on this part sound like. There's kind of like an offbeat kick drum happening here, which sounds like. So on this kick drum, it's really short. It's like. And then what I've done is actually removed pretty much all the high end. So it's just the low end. If I take that off, it's like. But with it on. There's also like a ride playing here as well, but it's really, really subtle in the background. Riff again. And then there's that also little like synth beep that happens. So this is like. And then as we go into the next section, I've switched the kick drum into the kick drum that's high passed. So that's like. And then also these vocals come in again. In this second half of the drop, the vocals are playing again and we, I'm using this uh, bit speak plugin so it makes it kind of more like robotic. Just turned the mix down slightly so it's at about 80%. And now we're gonna get into the break of the song. So again, we've got that riser pad happening. So in this section, we've got that riser pad happening, that little like synth beep sound. And then I've removed all the drums other than the offbeat hi-hats as well. So there's no kick drum, no snare playing in this section. And there's also these little chord stabs that are happening that are like. So the chords playing here, it's following the same chords as that riser pad, G to A to A sharp. So in terms of the serum patch for this, it's a really simple patch. Again, we've got a saw wave and a square wave that are running into a filter. And then I'm controlling the filter with an envelope. So every time the synth hits, this envelope is kind of opening and then closing again quite quickly. If I take that filter off, it's like... And I've also increased the attack slightly, so it's not like straight away coming in. If I take this attack off, it's like quite like harsh so I've kind of added some attack in so it's more like and in terms of processing on this I've got a simple chorus a flanger I've got some slight distortion on here very very subtle distortion also an EQ as well just boosting the high end and then we've got a delay sound as well a dotted delay one over eight and then I'm just compressing it slightly with this CLA compressor so that's like And then this is the last drop of the song, so I'll play that for you. So 
So in this drop, we've got those synth chords playing again. So they're just staying on the same notes, staying on the G. And then the sub in this section is quite interesting because it's just playing the exact same notes as the kick drum. So just four times. So it's going. And then interestingly on this sub, what's actually happening, because it sounds quite rumbly in the original. So what I've done is it's just a very simple patch again. So it's a saw wave with a sub oscillator added. To get that weird kind of rumbly sound, what I've done in the matrix is I've actually, I'm modulating the pitch ever so slightly with this LFO. So it's affecting basically the semitone of this oscillator and the sub oscillator as well. So if I just turn that up so it's more exaggerated. So it's a very subtle kind of like, the pitch is moving ever so slightly, you can see. It just kind of helps to add to that like rumbly sound that's going on. So the whole drop sounds like. Yeah, so that's pretty much the whole song. So what I'll do is I'll play, I'll play the whole song for you so you can hear the finished thing.